Since you guys loved the previous video on Nicaraguan food so much, we've made another list of seven recipes that are absolutely to die for. Not to brag, but we think that number one will make you drool all over your phone. Anyways, here are the seven traditional Nicaraguan dishes you have to try. Part two. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number seven, Bunuelos. Because many are health conscious, these little bunuelos will be a perfect substitute for the deep fried dough balls we're used to here in the States. Instead of flour, the bunuelos use a starchy yuca flour that they later mix with eggs and some cheese before they turn it into balls that are later deep fried until golden brown and crunchy. To add a special sweet kick, they pour over a hot cinnamon flavored syrup, which makes the little bunuelos absolutely to die for. Number six, Desayuno Nica. If you're a big fan of big breakfasts, then you just have to try this one. If you ask us, this one looks more like lunch than breakfast, but hey, to each their own. Now, as for the breakfast, you get a hefty portion of scrambled eggs fried with onions and bell peppers. On top of that, you also get the traditional gallo pinto, a mixture of rice and kidney beans that's finger licking good. Still not enough? In that case, you get to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. <laughs> but no, you actually get a fresh batch of finely chopped salsa, fried plantains, a portion of cheese, and of course, a maize tortilla. Now that's what we call breakfast for champions. Number five, sopa de cola. Believe us when we tell you, oxtail never tasted as delicious as this. While the main broth consists of slow-cooked oxtail in a large pot, the Nicaraguans add a lot of vegetables and spices to make this dish one of a kind. So, in a giant pot, they'll usually add a lot of onion, scallions, coyote squashes, pipian squashes, tomatoes, carrots, bell peppers, baby corn, ripe plantains, ears of corn, cilantro, and lemon juice. When all of this cooks in the same pot for about four to eight hours, you get a broth that completely blows chicken soup out of the water, or bowl in this case. Number four, bajo. The word bajo means steam, and it's referring to the method of cooking. You see, in a large pot, you put a layer of banana leaves. Then on top of that, you add some beef, yuca, and plantains. Some people even add onions and peppers to the dish. They then wrap the whole pot in banana leaves, fill it up with water, and leave it to cook for about four to eight hours. The banana leaves seal in the flavor, and the slow cooking makes the meat juicy and tender. On top of that, you also get a serving of curtido, which is a cabbage relish. Number three, arroz a la Valenciana. Believe us, rice has never tasted so good. The Nicaraguans first cook the rice with spices and finely chopped vegetables and chicken broth. They don't even bother using water. But that's not nearly all. You see, they then take some cooked and shredded chicken meat, fry it with peppers, onions, and celery. Near the end, they add some sweet corn and peas and bind it together with some tomato sauce. After it's all nice and fried, they then mix the meat and the rice together. And we don't have to tell you how good this actually tastes, do we? Number two, rosquillas. For all of those with a sweet tooth, we have the rosquillas, which is the Nicaraguan version of the donut. And just like the American ones, they first make the dough using eggs, sugar, milk, oil, lemon zest, and flour. But then, they add a special ingredient that gives them their distinct flavor. The Nicaraguans call it anisette, an anise-flavored liqueur. After being deep fried, they're rolled in cinnamon sugar and ready to be devoured in seconds. Number one, tres leches cake. We've heard of this, you've heard of this, we've all heard of this sweet cake. And the reason is simple, it's absolutely to die for. I mean, who doesn't like a vanilla sponge cake covered in a syrup made with a mixture of evaporated and condensed milk that's usually topped with some whipped cream and soft marscapone cheese? Some people substitute the whipped cream for some gooey caramel, which is also a great substitute. It's moist, smooth, and light as a feather a perfect dessert after a big meal like some roast beef. On a related note, we wanted to know if you've ever tried any of these delicacies before. You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.